Thank you for visiting West Coast Auto Enthusiast. Today we're featuring a 2011 BMW 335D. This is a uh, BMW certified car, meaning the warranty is good for six years, 100,000 miles. And it's got currently 61,000 miles on it. I think the warranty expires in 2017. So that's nice. Uh, the other nice thing about this car is we have not seen an M Sport before. They're very uncommon in the diesel version, which completely changes the stance and the outside appearance of the car. This is a clean title, clean Carfax car. It's a non-smoker car. Uh, the other nice thing about this is we could extend that warranty. So um, we talked about the details of that and what it would entail and what it would provide. Uh, we also have the ability to finance this through Alaska Federal Credit Union. Very, very clean, as I mentioned, non-smoker, clean title, clean Carfax. The reason I bought this was mostly because it's an M Sport and because it's a diesel. It gets ridiculous gas mileage. Uh, it's very, very clean. We just took it out to Cooney and had it fully serviced. So it doesn't need anything. The tires are good. I don't believe there's any curb rash on any of the wheels. So that's an M Sport wheel. Uh, if you look at these, there's a significant difference between this and the uh, the appearance or the stance of a traditional diesel. The diesels, if you didn't know, even sit higher than the standard 335. Uh, and if you didn't weren't aware of it, that's a diesel uh, component there. Um, that's only on the diesel. That little uh, allows you to get back to, I believe, the it's the it's the blue system, I think, for the rear tank. So which we just had actually, uh, we just replaced under the um, CPO. You'll notice the buttons on the back of the bumper there. Those are for parking sensors, rear parking sensors, and because this does have navigation on it, you've actually got a visual display of that now. Of course, it's locked, so I can't open it, but... Uh, anyways, so the condition you can see, no curb rash, no dents or dings or scratches. It's very, very clean. 425 pounds foot of torque <laughs> the diesel produces. That's more than the M3, if you're curious. And I think it's like 265. Oh, there's a little curb rash on the front wheel here. Um, that, and 260 horsepower. So you've got uh, xenon lights in the front. You can see the front's in good shape. The nose is in good shape. It's clean. So is the hood. So it's tinted windows in the back. Let me open this up real quick. So you can see in the back. So gray leather interior. Very, very clean. No signs of wear and tear in the back here. So power folding mirrors, power mirrors, power locks. So as I mentioned, you've got a sport, so M Sport package, so the M. Um, door sill here. This is a sport seat. You've got a, a larger bolster here. You've got a larger bolster on the side. The other thing about this car is you've got an extendable leg brace, which is nice for uh, longer road trips. Gives you a little extra seat. This button down here inflates and deflates this bolster here, so you can squeeze yourself into the seat. And then this is traditional lumbar, driver side memory, and your uh, your power seat controls. So. We like these. Uh, single key, I've got the books in the glove box. This is your new, new iDrive system, so they are much more comprehensive and better electronics. Uh, they went significantly upgraded in 09. So after that, you've got a whole different system. Shiftable automatic transmission, you've got uh, your CD, your radio, your full menu, service settings, stuff like that, Bluetooth, navigation, uh, and then options, and then this is your toggle switch. So. Uh, six disc changer, you've got dual auto climate control. Uh, as I mentioned, M Sport package that comes with a thicker leather wrapped steering wheel. This is your media interface, so it's a very comprehensive, and this has got a lot of equipment on it. So there's your CD and your multimedia, which would go to um, your USB. You go back to menu, you've got your radio, you've got an upgraded sound system on this, it's a ridiculous sound. Go back to the menu, there's your Bluetooth, your navigation. We love the navigation, the display on the screen. It's much more, um, you've got a bunch more information from 09 forward. Uh, if you go back, so you've got Office, Connect to I, you connect to Drive, um, Concierge, Messages, BMW Online, I mean all kinds of stuff. 
and then uh, vehicle information so this is your service information so if you go to vehicle status in here tire pressure is all good this is your service so brake fluid is good until 2016 your rear brick your rear brakes have got 6,000 miles on them your engine oil we just did it's good for another 13,000 miles your vehicle checks not due until 2018 and front front brake pads have got 50,000 miles on them so they were just done uh, and then you're, you're set in so anyways pretty um, pretty comprehensive computer system that is that's op all optional equipment. Over here you've got Bluetooth voice activation. Over here is cruise control, your onboard computer. Your, uh, what is that? Uh, that's your toggle switch to uh, take you through your onboard computer system. And then over here you have intermittent wipers and rain sensing wipers. Uh, automatic headlights, driving lights. Three buttons up here for uh, programmable uh, to security gates and garage door openers. And then you have your sunroof. So, I mean, pretty straightforward. You can see it's very, very clean. Dash. We love the fact that it's a CPO car. The diesels are more expensive to service and to maintain. It's definitely a car you want a warranty on. So the fact that it's got a CPO to begin with, we like. That's definitely a car that you're not gonna wanna have uh, no coverage on. So if you're looking at this car or another car, uh, my suggestion would be strongly to put a, an aftermarket warranty on it. If you've got questions uh, or would like more information on this car, please feel free to contact us. We can be reached at 503-227-2354. Thank you for visiting West Coast Auto Enthusiast.